What's my band back? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be doing another kind of face-to-face -face video like we did with the last word that we did. But the last word we did was respect, and this word is going to be different. And this one I decided to do today because it ties in perfectly with what happened to me today. So if you guys can tell by the title, this word is procrastination. Now, what procrastination means, um, I'm not going to look up the actual definition because, you know, we all pretty much know what it means because we all do it every single day for the most part. Procrastination is when you put something aside, whether it's homework, whether it's a project, whether it's recording a video, whether it's whatever you have to do, doing chores, whatever, you put it aside until the last minute or you just don't do it at all. This is procrastinating or the act of procrastination. My example for today, because the last time, you know, last video I had two examples, I only have one example for today, and the example is actually like what happened throughout my day. So I got home and I really, really, really wanted to record, but then I got, I watched a couple YouTube videos, I did some stuff, and then I got to the point where I didn't feel like recording anymore. But then I was like, you know, I have to record for guests, I have to get a video out. So then I was looking on YouTube, trying to get some inspiration. And the more I did this, the more I just didn't want to do it. And it was just like, oh, I was constantly fighting myself, trying to find a good idea to record, trying to do this, this and that. And I just couldn't do anything. So what ended up happening is I'm recording this video at 7 p.m. and you guys are seeing this at probably like 9 p.m. and uh, yeah. It's not so much that I didn't want to record, it's just more the fact that like I went onto my channel, I saw I already recorded SG, I already recorded 1v1s, I already recorded a map. Those are the three main things, like when I think of, oh, I need to record a video today, those are the three things I think of. Can I record this without it being too repetitive? Can I record this, this, this? And all those were taken because I recorded them back to back to back. So then I was like, you know what? 1v1 highlights. We got this. I go to try out 1v1 highlights. Cracecraft is down. I try and go on Glorious. Their like system is so slow. You have to wait for the game to end. Then you have a chance to get in it because everyone spams it. And I just couldn't get the video done. With that being said, I decided to do this video because not only did I like want to do this video not only has it been like a week since I did my last one but because of the fact that I just couldn't record anything MCP related and this is pretty much my only example of procrastination that I could come up with but as a whole procrastination is not doing something even though you know you should be doing it so again homework is a big one when you know you have an assignment like you have a huge project they give you two weeks to work on it. You don't even touch it until the last like two days, and then you're like skirt like doing it as fast as possible. Like that's you procrastinate all that time. Now, a way to fight this is by jotting stuff down, saying like, "Oh, I have to do this. I have to do this. I have to do this." Because when you look at something like, "Oh, I have to do this, this, this," and then you like cross it off when it's done you get a better idea when you just like think of it in your mind it's just an idea when you put it down on paper it's still an idea but it's a visual idea you can see the words that make up what you're trying to do so like if i wrote down record this video and i recorded record pro procrastination video when i looked at that I'd be like oh i have to do that instead of it just being my mind like should i record this you know when you put it down on paper it just it's just like writing notes it's basically reminding you teaching yourself to Yo, I gotta do this. Because there's always gonna be that thing, and I'm just gonna relate to it as a thing, the procrastination bug. That you wanna do something, and then it's like, ah, you can watch one, one more video of YouTube. Ah, it's only, you know, you have 30 minutes until you have to get on the bus. You can squeeze in a 44 minute episode on Netflix. Oh my god, I really, really, really have to do this assignment, but it's not due tomorrow, and I can do it in study all tomorrow, and then tomorrow rolls around, and you're like, oh, I forgot to do it in study all, oh my god, it's due tomorrow morning, oh, but wait, I have the bus ride, you come up with all of these excuses for why you can't do something, and then it ends up being too late, and lots of the times, I do this a lot with my homework, I do it like right before class in like five minutes, I quickly jot stuff down, and that's not a good habit, but with that being said, guys, I am sort of, again, being a hypocrite in this video, because like last video, half the stuff I'm saying, I'm like guilty of. I literally had all, not all day, but I came home at four. I was home, sit down, relax at four. It is now seven o'clock, three hours later, and I knew I had to get a video for today, and I know I have to record another video for tomorrow today, 
and I just didn't do any of it. I literally stayed. I went on YouTube, and for half of it, I wasn't even doing anything. I was just sitting there thinking about how much I just d did not like have an idea to record. I was sitting on my bed, which is right there, and I was like, huh. Should I record one view once? Uh, but one view once I've recorded the last time. Uh, should I record survival games? Uh, I recorded that yesterday. Should I do a work video? No, I already worked out this morning at school. What should I do? And I just couldn't come up with anything. So then I just sit, I sat there for like 30 minutes going back and forth, back and forth, until finally I was like, you know what? Let's go get this setup ready. Let's go just to pump this video out. And I will tell you guys, once you actually do what you say you're gonna do, you feel 100 times better about yourself. A good way to think about it is that all you are doing by procrastinating is putting aside the stuff that you're gonna have to do anyways. So might as well do it when you can. Like the first instance you can, do it. For example, if you have a summer homework and you're like, oh, I'm definitely gonna get it done the first day of summer just so I don't have to worry about it the rest of summer. And then the first day of summer comes around and you're like, oh, this is my first like day, I should like relax, just do whatever I want. Second day comes around and you're like, oh, I'll just do it tomorrow. Whoa, I just moved the camera. <laughs> Third day comes around and then you just completely forget about it. Then you're on the last day of school and you're like, oh my God, I have biology, I have chemistry, I have math, I, I have all this homework and I didn't do any of it. And then you're gonna be like, whoa, I could, if I just did it when I wanted to do it at the beginning and didn't procrastinate it for all this time, I wouldn't have had to worry about it now. Same thing with homework. If you have a project that's due in two weeks, do it in the first week. Don't, like, settle to do it last second. You guys know what I mean? But it's super hard to get over this hump of procrastination. So here are a couple tips that you guys can do. One of the tips I already mentioned, you can write it down. Write it down and then say, like, oh, record video. Oh, do this. Have a schedule. Okay, I love scheduling. Lots of people don't, but I love it. It's a great way to fight procrastination until you can't finally get over. So like 7, 7 p.m., record video. 7.30, edit video. 8, eat dinner. 8.30, upload video. It's that easy. Just always say that. So when 7.30 hits, you're like, oh, I have to do this. Instead of, oh, should I do this now? Oh, because when you have a schedule, you look at it and you're like, whoa, if I don't do everything that's on the schedule at the correct time, I'm gonna be really, really behind. And then you just don't get anything done. And if you're like me, I like doing everything. I like getting everything done. I don't like starting something and not finishing it right away. I always like to finish something right when I start, unless if it's obviously a huge project. Step number two, is to get rid of any distractions when you're doing something. For instance, if you're doing homework, get put your cell phone, shut it off, throw it away. Just throw even in the not necessarily in a trash can, but like throw it on your bed, shut it off so you don't get any notifications, no nothing. Okay? Turn it off and do your homework. Once you're done, go back on and turn it back on and then do all that stuff that you've been wanting to do. But get it over with first. Get the homework done get it over with. Same thing with working out. If your phone's a distraction, so like every time you like rest, you go and text someone and then you end up texting for like 10 minutes and they're like, oh wait, I was exercising. Put it away, Put maybe put music on, put a playlist on, but then put it away, don't even touch it, don't even look at it. Turn the TV off, turn the radio, uh, the radio can be on if you're just gonna listen to music, but get rid of any immediate distraction. Third thing you can do, and this is probably gonna be the final one I'm gonna discuss, is treat yourself when you get something done. So don't just say like, oh, I have this huge math assignment. I have like two pages of homework to do. Don't like at the end of the project, give yourself a reward. Do like the first five problems, give yourself a tweet. Tweet, oh my God, I was, I was getting too ahead of myself. Give yourself a treat. Go on Twitter, go through your feed, then put it away. Then do the next five problems. Then you can go on Facebook, scroll through Facebook really quickly, then five more problems until you're done with it. Because what this does is it basically multitasking and you're getting it done. And this is very, very good to do. Because instead of just being like, oh, I have to go through two pages and then I can go on Twitter, be like, oh, I just need to get through five. Because then you're like, oh, I'm already on the second one. Dude, I'm already halfway there, pretty much. And then it's just really good to do this. So with that being said, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please leave a thumbs up. Please subscribe down below to join the Pan Pack. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video because I really enjoyed recording it. And I know, guys, I procrastinated making this video. Not because I didn't want to, but because of all the reasons I said. I came up with a bunch of excuses why I can't, why I can do it later. Until now, it's just too late. So sorry that I got to the video too late for you guys, but hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, again, make sure to slap a like. And with that that being said, guys, hopefully you guys had a safe and enjoyable say, and you guys will. Oh my God! 
I really should have taken more positive throughout this video. If you guys enjoyed, have a safe and enjoyable day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys later.